Yeah, hey guys, Ken from Kent's Paint Shack here, and yes, I was tagged a while ago um, by um, Leon and, and Mick, um, and being a, a real slacker, I'm probably the last one to get back, so um, all the people that I would have tagged um, have already been tagged, except for one maybe, so I'll say that at the end. But um, Mick tagged me because he thought, did he see some guitars or stuff? So uh, the answer is yes, Mick, you did. So this is my my latest purchase, uh, a nice Ibanez S series, and um, yeah, this one rocks really well. Um, I'm into contemporary Christian music, so um, I've played in the church bands um, throughout my years, probably since I was about 16. Um, it took me a long time to learn how to play. All my friends played instruments, and I was like, man, I want to learn how to play. But by the time I'd actually learned how to play, all of them had left. They'd, they'd moved, moved cities and all that kind of stuff. So here I was, I finally learned the guitar, and um, yeah, they were gone. But I've kept at it all these all these years. I, I love playing. There's just nothing quite like you know putting your hands on a fretboard and just... Um, Twiddling away and seeing what you can make. I actually wrote um, a whole music book, um, a worship music book, and um, did all the music, all that kind of stuff. Um, look, it was going to get recorded, um, but it just didn't quite work out. So I didn't, I didn't press that. that I mean, that's not, nothing bad. But I've got about six guitars in the house, a couple of acoustic Fender acoustics. Uh, I have a, a Fender um, electric. I also have a Washburn and the Ibanez. Yeah, it's about five. And I've got a couple, a couple of amps here as well. Um, I love, I just love playing music. So that is that is a definite hobby of mine. Um, I think it's still a hobby. I spent about three grand on that last year. Scary things. Lots of pedals and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, playing guitar. Um, I know how to play guitar, bass, keyboard, drums, and I do a bit of singing, so. Hey, um, I was a uh, music director at my church for like nine, nine years. Um, you learn a lot back then. You learn like you had to learn instruments because sometimes you don't have them there. But these days it's a bit different with all the technology. So very cool. I really enjoy music. That is uh, that'd be my first hobby. <sighs> second hobby. Second hobby. I'll probably have to be um, art. Uh, I love, I love drawing. And I love I love painting. Obviously, with the miniatures, you see that I love I love painting. But see, the miniatures for me these days, even though you you say non unrelated, it's not a hobby anymore. I work twenty to twenty three hours a week painting other people's miniatures. It is a job. I haven't I hardly ever game, and I hardly ever paint my own miniatures. So hobby, I don't know. But anyway, back to painting and drawing. Um, I've painted and drawing just uh, since early high school. I used to paint people's houses and draw people's houses for them. I always like the old moolah. I don't know what it is, but I'm quite good at making moolah. Moolah is money, if you didn't know that, for some of you guys over there. But um, yeah, uh, so drawing. But what happened is I, I crushed my wrist and broke it in a in a printing press. Somebody decided to pull the handle while my my arm was in there, and I broke it. And I couldn't um, for a long, long time. I couldn't draw or paint like on a big canvas or anything. So that's when the um, the miniatures kind of started because I don't know the um, the movements different, and my my wrist didn't swell up, so or my whole arm didn't swell up, so that's how I kind of got into that. But yeah, I love I just love drawing and, and painting, and so that would be hobby number two. My wife said that if I uh, if I, I said she was a hobby, she would so um, she's not a hobby. So what's next? I have what I suppose it's a passion more than a hobby. Um, because it's not a hobby, but my my passion is um, serving people. Um, I've always been involved in my my church since I was probably about fifteen. I've never stopped. Um, I've been the family's pastor, kids pastor. I'm the kids pastor now in the church that I'm at. Um, as I said, I, I I looked after the music team. I was an elder, and um, you know just fully involved and I and I just love um, encouraging people seeing seeing people get the most out of themselves um, but also working with the kids um, 
kids can be a pain in the bum, but kids can be just incredible, you know? When you, when you encourage a kid, you see a kid go from just being so shy and unable to hardly speak or do stuff, you know, like there's a lot of kids that have some real needs these days, eh? And have, I, I, I have the ability to just draw the best out of them, so um, I love doing that, you know, and that is not a hobby, that's a, that's a passion, but that's probably, um, that's probably me, you know, I love preaching, I love, I love getting in front of hundreds and hundreds of people and just speaking and just encouraging people and seeing people laugh and, and, um, you know, if you think, if you think church is the old style of just sitting down on the old wooden pew and it's boring as, then you haven't seen me, you know, I have, I have people laughing their heads off and just having a great time, but then you kind of, you whack them with a, a good piece of, piece of truth that makes them think about stuff, eh? you know, about what they're doing and just going, hey, I can do life better and just encouraging people. So, but that's me, music, art, and um, and just serving, you know, so uh, I hope that's all right, guys. Um, and guess what? There's some going to be some more videos coming soon. Hey, so um, as I said, all the people, probably except for one, um, which may, may already have happened since. Um, Jack Sarge is someone that I would nominate. I'd tag Jack Sarge. Um, I've had a been on Messenger and just chatting away with him a wee bit, and uh, his painting is amazing. And I'd love to just see a little bit more about what he does, who he is. So um, I can't think of anyone else at the moment, guys. <coughs> so just one. And uh, hey, take care, look after yourselves, and uh, time out.